show you what you can do with a very simple thing, leaves, um, and use them to turn a few flowers into an extraordinary arrangement. So the first thing I want to do is show you the basic step of how to put a leaf inside your vase, okay? So this is a really neat trick because it hides the stems, which can look a little messy inside your vase, and it just makes your simple glass vase look more interesting. So the first type of leaf I'm going to use is a tea leaf, T-I, and what I'm going to do is just cut off the stalk and then trim a little bit here on the spine of the leaf, whoops, alright, and that makes it more pliable so that I can curl it in my hand and then let it unfurl inside the vase and tuck it down in here. So I'm going to get two leaves in here. This one I already trimmed up. Again, curling it in my hand, and tucking it right down into the vase. Great. Then the leaf I'm going to use um, in my second vase is an aspidistra leaf. Another great one and almost any sort of tropical leaf will work really well in this fashion inside the vase. So trimming off that stocky part, curling it in my hands, and then getting it down into the vase. Now, one thing I want to mention is if you had a leaf that was a little bit larger than your vase, in fact, I can show you with this tiny little guy, all you have to do is take your leaf, split it maybe into two, or, you know, cut it down a little bit, then curl it up and get it into your vase. So trim your leaves to fit your vase and then if your leaf isn't large enough, use two leaves like I did here inside your vase. All right, just like that. And then if I had a second one of these guys, I could use my leftovers for it. Leave that there, okay. Then I'm gonna start by making um, a large arrangement using monstera leaves, um, also called monster leaves. These things are big and awesome. And I'm going to show you a technique where you're actually um, sort of making a little leaf cocoon around your uh, flowers to just make them look more interesting. It's pretty neat. So let me start right here. I've got hybrid delphinium, all right, beautiful white flower, stocky, three stems, okay, so I, I don't have a lot here, but again, I'm going to pick up my monstera leaf, a large tropical leaf that you could find um, in any sort of florist shop. You can also see these growing um, in people's yards, and you can buy houseplants of monstera leaves and have them in your home and, you know, cut from them as needed, so they're, you know, something you'll see around. Again, I'm just sort of wrapping my delphinium, and then I'm taking a little bit of my wire and I poke through the leaf and now I'm wrapping it around to hold this and I'm going to cut the wire, give my stems a little trim, and get this into the vase. Now I like this actually, it looks, you know, elegant. But I wanted to add one other type of flower too and in a different angle to make this an even cooler arrangement. So let me just move this out of the way and pick up my um, other leaf that's going to wrap this plume celosia. It's a really neat hot pink flower. Again, wrapping it up, taking some wire and going around the edge of the leaf here, trimming that up, trimming the stems, and then here's my, oh, geez, sorry. Here's my plan. I'm going to tuck this in just like that. All right, so it's, they're kind of like alternating um, angles here. Cool. Got those in, and I can add more water later. Then I'm going to move this to the side and use one other quick, cool sort of trick with leaves to.
to um, add some interest to this vase. So I've got my aspidistra leaf. Now watch this. Make sure this is another way. I'm going to poke through my leaf with the stalk there and then tuck this in to make like a little um, like you know sort of ribbons or um, a, you know a sort of skirt or blouse or something that's going to go around the edge of uh, this arrangement. Maybe maybe a leaf cummerbund or something. All right, I've got a couple more here. Popping this through. Awesome. Okay, looking good, but I'm not even quite done yet. I'm going to take a few of my tea leaves and show you another trick. Now, these guys, if you try to pop um, the leaf through uh, with the stalk, they just sort of rips. It doesn't work out so well. So what I'm going to do is take this in my hand and staple it. And it stays just like that. And don't be afraid. I know it's a little scary to staple it, but the leaf can handle it. I've got another one here. I'm going to staple it, tuck that down in, and I love this because we're sort of picking up that darker maroon color that's in the base here, and um, <laughs> reminds me of this plume celosia. I think it looks great, which is now, you know, sort of eating me. So I might add a few more, but at least I've got that ready to go. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my smaller vase, and I wanted to show you some other leaves that came from the garden are hosta leaves, and I use these a lot. Um, you can usually, you know, again, I have some in my garden. Um, if, if you don't have access to a garden, any other type of leaf in this shape would work great. Um, or you could see if you could, uh, you know, go trim a few from a, a friend's garden. And remember, when you trim the leaves, it just promotes new growth, so you're not, you know, doing anything bad by, by cutting your garden. Pieces. So I've just tucked my hosta leaves down in there, and I'm going to be placing just some simple sunflowers into this vase. Um, the thing with sunflowers that you may know if you've used them before is their heads are pretty heavy, and I want to be able to hold them up and make this arrangement look a little more interesting. So again, I'm going to grab some of my tea leaves and my handy stapler and get some tea leaf action going on here, which is going to not only look good, but bolster the heads of the sunflower so they don't flop over, which is great. And I'm going to tuck some in between my leaves, and I have a few here that I already made up. Let me just get this in. All right. Now, when I go to put these sunflowers in, they stay where I want them to, which is great. And they don't flop over. And to me, it already looks like a cooler arrangement than if I just were to put those, you know, five sunflowers in a vase. Kind of, kind of average. Unless you have a cool vase like I have back there where I did <laughs> I did just put the sunflowers in there. But you can see how much bigger this, this one is. Okay, now, I'm not done with this, right? What I want to do is grab one other type of leaf, yucca. So um, these are growing in my friend's garden. She cut them for me. I'm very lucky. And what I'm going to do with them is take a few of these in my hand, and this is where we're really making yucca ribbons. And I've got sort of three together here. Take a bit of my wire and curl around. There we go. Cut off the wire, cut this down a bit. Stick this right into my arrangement to look a little more interesting, like to give it that extra bit of 
flare. Cool. And I could have as many of those sort of yucca ribbons as, as I wanted to, right? All right, great. Now for my last little guy, I have, and this bit is jumping out here, so sometimes that happens, and I'm just going to cut off the excess bit that didn't want to stay down in there, tuck back into the base, there we go, and it should stay, great. I have a few croton leaves from my croton plant, and what I'm going to do with them is actually just set them in here, sort of flare out, just like I, I did with the hosta leaves, really, just to make it look a little more interesting. Then in this mini vase, I'm going to grab a, a few pieces of my um, other sort of coxcomb celosia, a different variety, tuck that in, and I cut it down really short for this little vase, filling it up. All right. And now it's time to take my, let's see, I'm going to take some of my yucca, trim it up, and actually really use it like a ribbon, sticking one end in and then finding a place for the other end. Let me show you that again. There we go. I love how that sort of envelops the flowers with those leaf ribbons. It's just so much more interesting than just having the flowers in the vase, isn't it? And again, anything that was stalky like this would work. Okay, and there's lots of things in the garden and different places you can find that look like this. So, um, I hope you enjoy these techniques. If you use any of them when you're creating your own arrangements, please um, send pictures or post them on Facebook. I love seeing your work, and um, if you have questions in general, feel, feel free to send them. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy arranging.